Ole Gunnar Solskjaer left the entire United first team squad at home for the Astana game and we lost 2-1 and the idea there was that the game against Villa was going to be much better, higher tempo. The players have been rested for a week. We should see a massive upturn in the performance. Two all with Villa we've drawn today. Five goals we conceded in the last two games in the Premier League to newly promoted teams. There wasn't really anything there today that you can justify. And I don't think Solskjaer or any of these United players have any excuses whatsoever. Jack Grealish scores, yeah, might have been a freak goal. In the idea that you don't see those very often at Old Trafford, it was a wonderful goal from him. Then we equalised. Great ball in from Pereira. Rashford there with the header comes in off the back of Heaton. And then Lindelof puts us 2-1 up in the second half and we concede a couple of minutes later. So naive again. But it's a bad performance. As I said in the build-up to this game and as I've said all along, I've seen a lot of the cultural improvements at United that Solskjaer has been working on. But now it's all about the consistency and the performances and the performance level. We might not always get the win because of it, but the performance level needs to be there. And for those players to play so lacklustre like that against Villa after a week extra rest after being left at home, there's no excuses for that at all. And I seriously have to question quite just um, everything that I saw there today. Sure, I don't think the quality is there. If we have McTominay back in that midfield and you have Pogba back in that midfield, I'm sure it would be different. But we don't. Teams get injuries. And United's injuries are definitely not the reason why we're playing like we're playing. How can you justify what you saw there against Villa? Losing any football game, dropping points in any football game, it happens, man. Sometimes the performances, it just doesn't happen. But for the players to play like they did, Villa were in control of the game. They didn't just sneak a couple of goals and then sit back. It was Villa in control. And United trying to hit on the counter-attack. Dan James, more often than not, being so far ahead of his teammates that when he crosses the ball into the box, nobody was even in there. But Juan Mata, in the number 10 role, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. He's got, he's got to go at the end of the season. Mata's just not good enough for this United team anymore. Andreas Pereira may have whipped in an excellent ball for Rashford's goal, or Heaton's own goal, but he was culpable of allowing Grealish back on his right foot for the first goal and Pereira's not good enough. So many of these players now, it's just obvious they are not good enough and this whole United team is just not good enough. And we've got Spurs next on Wednesday night at Old Trafford. Mourinho comes back. Then three days later we travel and we face City away from home. And at this point, with so much pressure on Solskjaer, I suppose you look at the Liverpool game and there was so much pressure on the team going into that and it was a fantastic performance. But it will almost piss me off even more if United go up against this team with Mourinho and Spurs and turn the screw and all of a sudden we can play wonderful football again. Because it shouldn't be a case of coming up for the big games. Every single match has to have that consistency of performance. And with that lacking so much, it's very, very hard to take any sort of positive from that game. And questions have to be asked. And I said that December is all about the results and how United play and control games. And we can't keep going week from week, one week playing great, another week playing terribly. That stability in the performance needs to come from the management, from the coaching of the players. And it, it wasn't there today. It was horrendous. Fred and Pereira in midfield, I absolutely hate it. Brandon Williams, I think even he made a mistake for Villa's second goal. Didn't get out of the box quick enough. But overall, there was no individual player there that had any massive merit and there was no individual player who was any worse than the others. It was just a limp performance from front to back. But it wasn't massively unexpected. I think that might be the worst part of it all. But United are painful to watch a lot of the time. And those questions have to be asked of Solskjaer, of the coaching team, as to why these players sometimes can play so brilliantly 
and together with great tempo and another time, they just look like they're on holiday. Why is that? Let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. But with Spurs and City coming up in the next seven days for United, if Solskjaer wasn't under pressure before, that sort of performance, a two-all against Villa at Old Trafford and basically sneaking a two-all with Villa, question have to be asked because it's just not good enough.